Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. <clears throat> Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, rolling the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from through the Holy Spirit. Honor, salutations, and blessings to the men that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. And peace, grace, and blessings be upon the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are listening and learning. Keeping the faith of Yahweh Shai, staying in the Holy Spirit to the best of your ability, day in and day out. Um, so just wanted to touch on a uh, lesson, Lord willing to be edifying, of course. Um, couple got a got a article here, and um, just really going in on you know the economic uh, uh, downturn that is you know underway, and how uh, through the Spirit is it's going to lead to a lot of more, uh, you know, uh, casualties, a lot of more, a lot more, I should say, um, evil spirits running rampant in this place, you know, as it, you know, is prophesied. Okay. Uh, the scriptures talks about because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. All right. And also in the book of second Ezra, the eighth chapter, it says what many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time that dwell on the earth because they have walked in great pride right and a part of that uh part of the reason why so many you know why the masses of the people in this world especially here in babylon the great are in great pride it is because uh babylon as is that golden cup all right babylon is a place where merchants come where people come to to get rich or get money you know i even get rich because the majority of people are not rich but they have the illusion, all right, they're under the, the deception that they have uh, the possibility of, of gaining financial wealth, all right, because Esau Edom has pushed uh, uh, money, mammon, as being a, a, a god, all right, a power, all right, the power of, of earth. And people have, have drunken of that, that wine, of that philosophy, of that... Uh, you know ideology and therefore they have uh, uh labored to be rich when the scriptures tells you in the book of uh proverbs 23 verse i start at i start at um one it says when thou sittest to eat with a ruler consider diligently what is before thee okay and who is the ruler of this of this world right now all right esau edom is the is the ruler of this of this world the god of this world and his energy as we always say is after the um his working is after his coming is after the working of satan so when people try to when especially jake you know they have this mindset of i want a seat at the table all right whose table are you talking about you're talking about esau's table well the scriptures tells us when thou sittest they eat with a ruler consider diligently what is before thee and, and our people don't consider what is before them when they attempt to uh, uh, take part in Esau's world on, in a sense of joining into it, in, in a sense of being entangled with it. OK, they're just looking at the the the. Well, I, I, I guess you would say the luxury of it, but the scriptures told you to not, you know, uh, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways all right and it also says in the book of um what is that psalms 73 verse 3 it says for i was envious at the foolish when i saw the prosperity of the wicked okay and this whole chapter is really good all right it, it gives you the the right mindset that you're supposed to be in okay although you are seeing the 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 injustices and you're seeing what it would seem like to be the uh the uh, uh prosperity of the wicked and the righteous being downtrodden all right so you know when you get a chance if you have not read this chapter this, this chapter it's a really good chapter but Verse three is a point says, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And a lot of our people are in that mind state and therefore they do whatever it takes to try to obtain the prosperity 
that the wicked has, but not understanding that the triumphing of the wicked is but for a moment. And we are witnessing the downfall or the down the 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 turn of that prosperity. All right. And I have an article that's going to back that up. And then this article is just one of many as of a, as late as, as of late, especially seeing a lot of, um, you know, Edomites often their families, all right, their, their, their wives, their children, their mother, their dogs. <laughs> okay. And that's, and that's ultimately the curses turning on Esau because we're at the end of his age of his rulership. Okay, Lamentation, the fourth chapter, tells us what? To rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Eden. Edom, the cup is also shall pass unto to thee. The cup that we had to drink, or the cup of oppression, the cup of, of you know, being being at the bottom, okay? The cup of being uh, the, the, the borrower and not the lender, all right, the, the, the tail and not the head. That cup is now about to pass to Esau that he's going to have to drink, and he's going to have to drink double, as it is written in, Revelation the 18th chapter. But let's go back here. Proverbs 23, verse uh two. It says, Put a knife to thy throat if thou be a man given to appetite. All right. It's better to die than for you to be a person that has no self-control, that is not temperament, and you're just given to the lust of the flesh, given to the appetite. And how do people tend in this world? How do people uh, achieve to appease the lust of their flesh. What is the tool that is needed? It's money, right? And now the scriptures does tell us that money does have a use, it's a tool, right? The scripture says that money answereth all things, but money is not the end all be all, okay? Money is not the, 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 the key to life. Fearing the most high, keeping the commandments, being a, a godly, to the best of your ability that is the key to life as Yahweh Shai said seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all of its righteousness and, the, and all of these things shall be added unto you but see people do it are, are, and I'm talking about our people they got it backwards all right they're trying to seek the the, the things of this world they're trying to seek the the pleasures of this world which is really the pleasures of sin right and thinking that if they can obtain those things, then that must mean that they are blessed, that they are 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 in God's favor. I'm blessed and highly favored. But what you're really about to see is how uh, how not blessed people are, are, how unfavored the majority of of this world and 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 the people that are in it are. Okay. So it says, if thou be a man given to appetite, it says, uh, and put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given given to appetite, be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. All right, it's a deceitful meat, thinking that you're going to, you know, uh, 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 enjoy the uh, pleasures of sin. All right, and 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 that's just going to be the life that you're going to have, you know, here on out. Esau is not even going to enjoy. It. He can't even enjoy it right now because, once again, that is only for a moment. Okay? That is only for a moment. So you thinking that the, the, this meat in front of you, hey, that meat is uh, 3D meat, man. <laughs> okay? That's fake. That's that's GMO meat that Esau is putting at this table that our people are trying to, you know, gather and eat up. But really, that's nothing but just cancerous, detrimental uh, uh you know, processed food that you are eating. Verse four, labor not to be rich, cease from thine own understanding. So you're not supposed to labor to be rich. You're supposed to labor to be uh, uh, content. All right. You're supposed to labor to get your daily bread. Okay. So now when you go to, oh, oh read that. that was yesterday's uh, lesson. So I just typed in layoffs because this is something that has been in the news as of late, right? And the layoffs are happening from all spectrums of, you know, the the the, the industry, from the uh, all spectrums of the economy. And we we know through the spirit, right? Because um, you know, we are watching, we're we're uh, you know, 
redeeming the times because the days are evil being circumspect we know that this devil is doing this you know orchestrating this manufacturing this because he wants to transition into the digital all right the digital uh uh realm which he believes is going to be his uh a pinnacle of of him being on top which is really just a a, a trap a snare that the lord is leading this devil into but nonetheless it's having real world consequences and and people are being affected they are being affected by this so like i said i typed in layoffs and you look at you look it up all right a lot of big name companies are laying off from the tech industry to the financial industry all right to the uh um media industry you got cnn laying off people right it says cnn begins layoffs amid un, uh, amid economic uncertainty cost cutting pressures from let's finish pressures from parent company all right and this is one of many companies that are doing this you you have the whole thing that's going on with the crypto all right the ftx a lot of uh companies are being affected a lot of people i should say are being affected by that uh in the banking industry right financial world bank layoffs you have um we're here back in uh, early november city group and barclays are, are cutting we're cutting um credit swiss which is over there is the second largest bank in Switzerland. They're damn near about to collapse, right? And then see these layoffs are not going to be like how it was in 2020 with the whole Emic. All right, there's not gonna be no stimulus checks. All right, there, once again, and these layoffs are happening because of the rising inflation. And the Federal, Federal Reserve, right? Jerome Powell, the chairman, he said that they, are expecting layoffs. You have Bank of America came out a couple of months ago and said that they're expecting about 175,000 uh, uh, people being laid off per month within the next few months. So you have all of these mass layoffs and it's not like you're going, people are going to just be able to get another job because everybody are, is laying off every industry is feeling the, the the pressure of economic slowdown right because of the inflation rising because when inflation rises that means the cost uh you know the the the, the um the uh, uh cost of living is rising which means a lot of people are not using or are not having a lot of discretionary um income meaning money that they can just you know access money that they can just spend so when there's not a lot of excess money for people to go spend to go be consumers and buy things that is hurting the bottom line of various different companies and therefore the, these various different companies because their revenue is being affected they have to try to appease still the, the shareholders of these companies to make sure that their pockets are still lined right so they got to do what cut costs in a first uh, a wave or first people or the first uh, sector of a company to get hit by cut cut uh, cost cutting is the human resource the people so you're seeing that's why you're seeing so much layoffs happening all throughout uh, uh babylon and 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 in the westernized uh countries because of cut, uh, cost cutting because inflation is rising and i was reading earlier they were saying that I think even Jerome Powell came out yesterday and said basically that they still got to continue to rise rates. The ECB, Christine uh, Lagarde, Lagarde, she even said it too, that the the, the rates um, is not where, you know, the inflation is not where they want it. So they got to continue to keep rising rates. And as they continue to rise rates, as rates continue to rise, <laughs> layoffs are going to continue to go, uh, continue to rise. And as layoffs continue to rise, people are going to be more, or, or people's comforts are going to be lost. And as people's comforts, right? Because money is, it, it, it is, like I said, it's a tool that it's a defense, right? The scripture says that money is a defense. So as people continue to lose that defense, 
they're going to feel defenseless. And therefore, what happens? That's when those those spirits, those evil spirits are get activated. Because people are, are becoming more frustrated, they're becoming more afraid. Right? Financial stress is the number one cause for divorce, divorces, uh, domestic abuse, uh suicide, right? Because the financial stress leads to depression. Because when you live in a society like this, where it's individualistic, where it's a dog eat dog world, you, nobody's going to come to your come to your aid. You see, in the kingdom, in in in, in our our um, when we had our own uh, land and our own government, we had a welfare system that made sure that nobody of Israel was you know uh, uh, um, left out. OK, that's why you know, nobody went, you know, hungry to the point of starvation. That's why there was a law that you couldn't um, harvest all of your crops. You had to leave the outskirts of your crops to the ones who were needy, to the poor. But here in, in America, <laughs> you see how they treat the homeless. You see how society treats the poor. They marginalize them. They push them to the, they push them to the side. Right. But. Now, a lot of people are becoming poor, are, are becoming, you know, unemployed, which is going to, you know, ultimately it, it'll lead to uh, um, homelessness and poverty. A lot of people are, are coming into that into that um, pool category that has never been there before. Right. A lot of people are losing their houses that have never been in a, in a place where they were foreclosed. They've never been in a place where they have been unemployed. And that's going to cause a, a, a massive demonic reaction on, on the masses of these people. Loss of comforts is going to activate the spirits of vengeance. And that all in the comfort starts from where? When you, when you lose your job, when you lose your ability to make a uh, what they call make a living. OK, so now, like I said, you go, you read uh, the, the news headlines. It's, it's many different uh, sectors of, of, of business that are experiencing layoffs, that are laying off people. You got Wells Fargo's cuts hundreds of mortgage businesses jobs. Why? Because because mortgage rates are so high, people are not buying you know houses. And if people are not buying houses where well, then there's no point of having uh so many mortgage um loaners right people what do they call them um for, uh more uh, mortgage originators or something to that effect I forgot what their title is so wells fargo is cutting hundreds of of mortgage you know um loaners that that work in that sector and these are you know uh, uh full high you know what they call white collar jobs so it's a lot of people that were went to school Right. A lot of people that have been accustomed to success in living in a uh, comfortable, you know, what do they call it? Uh, um, high middle class lifestyle. And, and we know that's what East uh, starts with Esau, Edom and these heathens. And you got Jake that have <laughs> in their minds finally think that they've gotten to this position. Right. They got to this position where, you know, they're. Because the you know uh, uh, this generation, or I should say, my generation, that were uh, uh, is the generation where a lot of people, a lot of Israelites, feel as though they have taken a step on the ladder of financial success. Okay, but what they're realizing, what the what, what the world, what the Lord is is actually doing, is when they still say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is coming. OK, sudden destruction is coming and that destruction is coming in a form. One of the ways is in a form of of uh, uh, of economic uh, loss, man. And that economic loss is going to cause people to lose it. I seen a quote where it said that um, where where people lack was it uh, information, they replace it with um, where, where, where people lack where information is lacked, 
it is replaced with fear. And that can also be said with comfortability. Because when you are not comfortable, then you become fearful. And that's why the scripture says in the book of um, Isaiah 33, verse 6, it says, in wisdom and knowledge, what that's, that's information. See, we have the information of why these things are happening. We have the knowledge, the know of why there is, you know, uh, uh, um, this economic crisis happening in the world. Why there is economic turmoil, uh, uh, wars breaking out. Why there is natural disasters, you know, uh, taking precedence uh, uh, throughout the world. You got over there in Hawaii, the uh, that a volcano that is uh, erupting. I just read that um, the lava is flowing towards a major highway, and that highway is used for a lot of tourism. Okay, a lot of you know traffic and tourism. So you got these earthquakes and in, in diverse places, volcanic you know uh, eruptions, droughts, floods. Don't forget the energy crisis that is going on. So a lot of things are happening that is really just causing a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of uh, it's causing an all hell breaking loose scenario, shit hitting the fan scenario. But we know why that is happening. So we have comfort, not of this world, as Yahweh Shai said, but we have comfort that the that the Lord gives us, man. OK, so it says in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of yahweh bashim yahweh shai is his treasure so where comfort that this world doesn't give us because this world is losing comfort right because that comfort comes from making everything being status quo everything running smoothly but things are not running smoothly anymore so they don't have the knowledge of why so what happens they replace the, 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 the lack of information with fear, all right? They replace the lack of comfort with fear. And when people are afraid, what do they do? They respond irrationally, okay? There's a scripture that also speaks of um, where, where there's no profit, the people perish. Let me see if I can find that. Um, no profit perish let's see let's see lord willing I think it's an apocrypha if i'm not mistaken well, i need all words so i just bear with me actually you know what Oh, is it no vision? Yeah, there's no vision. Okay, Proverbs 20. Let's go here. Proverbs 29. You know what? Let me just type it up in here. Proverbs 29. Um... Okay, Proverbs 29, verse 18. It says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. All right, so, and who is the, who are the, where does the vision from? The vision is from, is given to the, is given by the Heavenly Father to the seers, which are now called prophets. Because the scripture told you that a prophet was called a seer before they were called prophets. So that's the vision. So when there is no vision, the people perish. And that's why, hey, the, the we have obtained this vision. We have obtained the understanding. And therefore, we are not, uh, Lord willing, if we still are part of that elect, we are not going to perish because we understand the bigger picture. We understand what is happening. But the majority of these people, the masses of these people, right, they don't understand the vision. They don't see. They don't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. So they're going to perish right along with this world, right? So 
let's go let's go to this um article here right because like i said uh the loss of comfort is activating evil spirits these spirits of vengeance and this is happening more and more and more if you have you know watching the news paying attention it's getting breaking news you're seeing a lot of uh uh deaths all right mass casualties happening you know uh domestically and like i said when that happens the the the, the number one reason for domestic violence is financial uh stress so it says it was a horrific sight coroner identifies two young kids three adults found stabbed to death inside affluent chicago suburb suburb home all right affluence we're not talking about somebody that's in you know uh, uh in the slums or in the hood this is happening in affluent neighborhoods because of what because of these mass um layoffs now this article doesn't specify that you know this person uh uh got laid off from his job but you know uh, uh using context clues when you when you listen to the um when you listen to the video you can put two and two together but i'm gonna read it because this is the people here i'm just gonna actually play the article play the video it says lake count uh county coroner Je uh jennifer bennick then shared that so far the completed atop, uh, autopsy shows the death the cause of death is a sharp force in, uh, injury so this uh, he uh st stabbed to death i believe this is his wife his child which is a daughter um 67 so i'm guessing this is, might be his his mother all right and his other daughter four years old and then he killed himself right so let's listen to this um <laughs> Okay, so the property was in foreclosure. When you look at this this house, this ain't no small house. Now, I remember it's a affluent um, Chicago sub suburb home. This is a big house, right? But it was in foreclosure. Now 
for a house this big to be in foreclosure that must mean that they obviously they weren't able to uh they weren't paying the bills and they weren't paying the bills because more than likely they couldn't afford to pay the bills more than likely because one of them uh um lost their jobs and i believe if you read the article the woman she was still working so it might have been the the husband that lost his job and she was divorcing him or he most likely uh she was divorcing him and he snapped and did what that's that evil spirit that spirit created for vengeance hopped on him and he offed everybody in the house including the including the pet and then the evil spirit hopped off of him because that hey just like with um with uh judas when the lord told judas what thou doest do us quickly and they said then satan entered in into him and judas did what he did but then after he did what he did satan hopped off of him and then he got he felt what he felt remorseful he felt guilty right and then that's when judas uh hung himself well as you see here it says five deceased were it says five deceased were uh found dead the preliminary investigation indicates that this was a domestic related incident meaning what that somebody in the house did this it says and there remains no threat to the public so five of the people or uh, sorry four of the people were concluded their autopsy concluded that they were killed by a sharp uh force uh by a knife and the fifth one isn't concluded yet so got to figure out how he <laughs> committed suicide all right but all in all this is just a a a small example of what is about to you know take shape in america man what are you about to see happen more and more and more because of ultimately is, is really because the love of money okay let's go to that the love of money is as the scripture says you know uh we'll start at actually we'll start at, at verse six first timothy six verse six it says but godliness with contentment is great gain all right and that's why you know we always teach that you got to be comfortable as the scriptures teach it's not us we're just teaching the scriptures but the, the the lord teaches us through the spirit through these words right that uh uh, uh you got to be comfortable with you know what you have learn and if and, and, and you know as the elder i remember hearing the elder apostle ramla said you got to be comfortable with being uncomfortable all right learn how to be uncomfortable because we know that we're coming into evil times man we're dealing the times because the days are evil evil meaning bad times so if bad times are not comfortable times okay we just got to pray and hope and have faith that the lord will keep us during those times as it is written in job the fifth chapter right and in, in death and destruction, you know, we, uh, 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 the Lord will keep us from those things. But in this society, it tells you that what? Uh, gain is godliness. But no, as, as Paul uh, says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. So being content with the position that you're in, learn how to be abased, learn how to be abound. But see, Esau, he doesn't know how to be abased. He doesn't, he can't handle adversity. And really, Babylonians, period. Now, Jake, more than others, because Jake then we we was brought over here to, to, to experience at a, a life of adversity so that we can repent. Right? But here in America, a lot of Babylonians that have taken on to this, you know, have drunk of the, the Babylonian juice. They don't like, they don't know how to deal with the abasement. But that's exactly what the Lord is about to bring them. Because as, as I said before, um, in second, second Edges, the eighth chapter, many great miseries is coming. And it's because of what? Because of the great pride. People are 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 exalted, people are, are prideful. But the Lord said what? That the haughty and the proud looks will be brought low. And why people, what makes people uh, pride and lofty is really what? Money. So it makes sense that you having 
these mass uh, uh, layoffs, these the uh, uh, these, and I'm talking about the tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands. Remember, Bank of America said what 175,000 layoffs per month. You do that what about five times? <laughs> you almost had a million layoffs, a million people that are that are jobless. Okay, verse seven. For we brought nothing in this world, and it is certain we can't we can carry nothing out. All right, because you got that that uh pagan, um, heathenistic ideology that if you get buried like in uh, Egypt, Egyptians, if you get buried with your money, it can follow you to the afterlife. No, that's that's not a custom that we as Israelites uh, uh um taught or believed. All right. That's not a part of our culture. We know that you don't hit none of that is following following you when you leave. All right. You had not said what is what is it all worth? You can't take it with you when you uh, leave the earth. Something to that effect. Verse eight and having food and raiment, let us be with there with content. There you go. That's why Yahweh in the Lord's prayer taught us to say what? Give to us our daily bread. That's it. That's all you need. Your daily bread, uh, clothes, a roof over your head. And, and even that, the, the, the roof over your head, some of us is going to get to the point where we're going to have to be pilgrims on the earth. And you're going to have to be able to deal with that as well. But you can clearly see that this, this man, right, couldn't deal with that because his house was foreclosed. So instead of dealing with the idea of, you know what, I may have to sleep on the couch. I may have to, you know, uh, sleep in a hotel room. I may have to even sleep. On a bench one or two nights. He said, nah, I'm killing everybody. I'm killing my wife. I'm killing my kids. I'm killing my mother. I'm killing the dog. Because once again, that thought of being uncomfortable was too fearful for him. And they chose, and he chose death. <laughs> okay. And it wasn't just the death of him. Because you do have a lot of people. I remember, what is that? The CEO of uh, Bed Bath & Beyond back in the summertime. He uh, killed himself by jumping off the roof, off a roof. But see, the Lord is having these these uh, evil spirits take out other people before they take out themselves. Let's pull that up. Um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 39, verse 28. It says, I'm starting at 27. And, and all these things are good to the godly. So to the sinner, they are turned into evil. All right. Hey, even... The prophecies, all of these things that are happening in the world, the economic crisis, the food shortages, the uh, wars, all of those things, those are good unto the godly, but they're evil unto the sinners. All right. It's evil unto the sinners. And that's why in the book of um, Proverbs, before I finish that, let's read this real quick. Proverbs 16, verse four, the Lord has made all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. All right. Because the wicked... That's who these evil spirits are jumping on. These spirits created for vengeance are jumping on the wicked. And they're creating what? Evils in the world. <clears throat> Judgments. Unto the evil, unto the wicked. So it says, there, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. That's what happened in this case with, in, in Chicago, in this household. They, he, that evil spirit hopped on that man and laid on sore, sore strokes in the whole household, man. And that's how you know that the, the, the Lord don't care about the physical age of a person. Because as the scripture says, who have perished being innocent? That spirit that was in that four-year-old or that six-year-old was clearly an evil spirit in the eyes of the Lord. And especially if they were, if they're uh, Edomites, they're by nature just evil, Okay. As it is written, the uh, the wicked go estranged, estranged from the womb, go forth speaking lies. From the womb, they are they are estranged. So it says, which lay on on sore strokes, and in the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So, what happened? You had that evil spirit hopped on that man during that time. Put it in, uh, put it into uh, the Lord, to, uh, commanded the evil spirit to hop on that man and to, to do 
what what was the in the time of destruction lay on pour out their force and he poured out the force and then the evil spirit appeased the wrath of the lord all right that made them and then a man seen what he had done and then did what decided that I, he got it off himself right it says fire and hell and famine and death all these were created for vengeance teeth of wild beasts and scorpions serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction they shall rejoice in his commandment so in the heavens when the lord did gave the counsel for that day because the scriptures told you that every day every morning the lord judgment is brought to light so when the lord commanded that uh the yahweh shai really commanded that evil spirit because the heavenly father gave all judgment to his son yahweh shai right when Yahweh Shai commanded that evil spirit to jump on that man, that that spirit, which was an angel, it it rejoiced at the commandment because that's what he was created to do. It says, and they shall be ready upon earth. You see that it don't happen in the spirit. It don't happen in some in some uh, uh, you know region underneath the earth and hell, right? That's not where evil spirits are doing their job. It says they shall be ready upon earth. Because in the spirit world, as Job said, there the wicked shall cease from troubling. There the weary shall be at rest. But the evil spirit got commanded to come upon earth to do a job. It says that when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Right? And the wrath of the heavenly father, Bashem Yahweh was appeased. And that's what you're going to see happening more and more and more why because we're in a time of the wrath of the lord man the visitation of the lord of the of of the lord is upon the earth all right and the visitation of the lord is not happy it's it, it's it's fierce it's angry it's indignation righteous anger okay let's get this here and um Let's actually continue down here, right? So verse uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 9, it says, But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. That's why I started off by saying what? Labor not to be rich. Okay? Labor not to be rich. Because it's a, it's a temptation, it's a snare, it's a trap. And into many foolish and hurtful lusts which draw men into destruction and perdition. So that's why now to these all of these mass layoffs, you're going to see hundreds of thousands of people losing their jobs. And that comfort that came with having that job is going to turn into fear, frustration and fear. And then that's when those evil spirits are going to be activated and do their job. Hop on people and you're going to see mass, mass uh, uh, deaths happening all across uh, uh uh babylon america and the world but but mainly mainly in uh uh america in these western countries where people have been living so careless so so uh uh uh, uh high-minded right so proud it says verse 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil the love of money is the root of all evil. So if evil times are coming, it would make sense that a count a, 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 a money is tied to it. I believe that's in the yeah, Ecclesiastes 27 chapter. It says, um, money, not money, uh, as as a as a nail sticketh close to a, a stone, so does sin sticketh close to buying and selling. Commerce, market. All right. The, the, the karagma is tied to buying and selling. It's tied to money. So that is a that is evil. These people reacting in such a way that as we just read, killing often their whole family members, that had to do tied to money because of uh the financial stress the of the of the foreclosure of that damn near it was a damn near mansion. So the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows you see that and that's why it's imperative it's imperative 
to understand that money don't be entangled with the deceitfulness of riches man understand yes it is a tool it is it is it, it has its purpose but as Yahweh Shah said you can't sit at the Lord's table and the devil's table you can't serve the most high and mammon you either going to love the one and hate the other okay so let's get this here second Timothy chapter 2 verse uh 4 no man that worth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life and what is this life all about making money all about being rich all right chasing the bag and when you entangle yourself with that what ends up happening you fall into the snare and the temptation which leads into perdition and destruction so if you're trying to be a soldier if you are desirous to be a soldier of yahweh Shai, you gotta what you gotta make sure you're not entangled with the affairs of this world says that uh that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier all right that is that is the whole duty and understanding that the lord has knows that you have need of things he knows what you need he knows that you need clothes he knows that you need food he knows that you need uh uh you know warmth uh, a roof over your head and he will provide those things for us but you as a uh, as being a believer on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you got to seek the kingdom first in all of its righteousness. Okay, so let's get this uh last one here in a book of uh second Ezra. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> second Ezra chapter 16, verse um 40. It says, Oh my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth, meaning what. Be as one. Ah, uh, I hate when it doesn't let me know what. What is a pilgrim? Let's type in pilgrim definition. Pilgrim definition, Bible. A person who journeys, especially a long distance, to some sacred place as an act of the devotion. Uh, okay. Yep. A person of a journey was a purpose of a pilgrim. I just want to get the I just want to get the definition. Let's see. Pilgrim. Definition. Person who journeys. All right. Yeah, and when you go to the Bible, the, uh, it tells you a person who basically is not a um, a native <clears throat> to a to a land. All right, and we are not native. We're not natives to this to this world. Okay, as Yahweh Shai said, we are not of this world. Right. So it says. Um, go back. It says, "Be as pilgrims upon the earth." He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. He that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that have no profit by it. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as he that shall not reap. So also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. They that marry as they shall as they that shall get no children and they that marry not as the widowers and therefore they that labor labor in vain that is how you're supposed to think that's how you keep yourself from not being entangled with the affairs of this life not being uh over uh, uh overcharged with the cares of this world you gotta just look at it as hey this is all temporary okay it's all temporary and ultimately this is not our rest so that when the uncomfortableness does happen, you're not that affected because really your comfort does not come from without your comfort as a believer in a follower uh, and in the faith of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai comes from within because Yahweh Shai being within you. That's where you get the comfort from. The wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The wisdom and knowledge of who? The Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that these people don't have that. So when they lose the comforts of this world, they lose it. <laughs> when they lose the comforts of this world, they will lose their minds. And that's when the evil spirits will take control. So 
I ended there, Lord willing. You know, this was edifying unto the elect. All right. Oh, I mean, I didn't even read this, but, you know, the grinding ceasing obviously is the prophecy. Okay. And that's why it says here, Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1, remember now the creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. You see? Nor when nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, because you and this is just the, the, the hypocrisy, all right, of uh, of these people in this world, because when they get and I've seen it personally, I've seen it happen when a person got laid off from their job. That's when they want to say, oh, I know God has a better plan for me. I put my trust in them and him X, Y and Z. But whenever I said when they had that good paying job, they were they were in, the most high was God. It was not nowhere in their minds, man. All right. He was not nowhere in their thoughts. They were living their best life. But as soon as they hit the low, that's when they want to try to find God. They want to try to put their put their 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 trust in God. Nah, that don't work like that, man. Because the Lord said what? That uh when I called, he refused. When when I and you turned out not you didn't turn out his reproof. So when your calamity comes. When your destruction comes, he's going to mock you. So that's why for us, it's to remember to, to remember the Creator before the evil days comes. But let's jump to the point, which it says, um, and in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that be, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low okay and that is what the, the that these mass layoffs these firings all of these companies all right are doing they're stopping the grinding okay so i ended there lord willingness was edifying unto the elect giving all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakakwadash till next time shalom